get into the news. Uh, according to a recent poll, seven out of ten millennials said they would take a pay cut if it meant they could bring their dog to work. <laughs> the other three millennials are already dog walkers. So... <laughs> Now, I think about it, this explains why when I went to CBS asking for a raise, they said, how about we just give you a basset hound instead? <laughs> well, I don't get it. What is people's obsession with having their dog at work? Like, unless it's a service animal, if you bring your dog to work, you better be a firefighter, a police officer, or a member of the Scooby-Doo gang. That's <laughs> it. That's it. Now, mo <laughs> moving on. Now, as we've told you before on this show, marijuana is now legal in Canada. Well, one... Yeah. Yeah. Well, one nine-year-old girl who is in Canada's version of the Girl Scouts had the great idea of selling cookies in front of a marijuana <laughs> dispensary. Get this. She sold all of them in 45 minutes. <laughs> She sold out in under an hour, but it was really? to the same three people. <laughs> they just kept forgetting they'd already bought some. <laughs> I mean, talk about a great idea. That's like the time I sold fresh underwear right outside Del Taco. <laughs> I did, yeah, no, I did. I made, an, I made enough money <laughs> to buy a vacation home in Lake Tahoe. I did. But the girl, the Girl Scout, she continued her hot sales streak. She set up... She set up an ice cream stand right by my parking space here at CBS <laughs> Television City. Long story short, she now owns my vacation home in Lake Tahoe. <laughs> <laughs> and this was strange. A man was recently arrested in Alabama after he broke into a woman's house. And get this, he broke in, made himself some eggs, took a bath and washed his clothes. <laughs> The man was arrested and charged with enjoying a lovely spa day. <laughs> <laughs> now, who's that? Wait a minute. He's clean, he cooks, and he does his own laundry. That's not a burglar, that's a keeper. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, we want to share this with you. Here's a story from my homeland. A company in the UK has started selling a product for people in colder climates, and they're calling it a nose warmer. I promise we did not make this up. Here it is here. Look, I mean... <laughs> it's true, completely real. Hon honestly, if you feel the need to wear one of these, maybe it's time to stay inside. <laughs> the, no <laughs> the nose warmer costs $10 and all your hope of ever finding a partner. <laughs> <laughs> a nose warmer is the perfect solution for people who want to stay warm and look like they want to take over Gotham City.